Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Valanda. So just to warn y'all, I am still under the weather. I'm sick. So I'm trying to project my voice as much as I can, but it cannot go so far, okay? And I'm not trying to strain my voice. Strain my throat because it hurts. It hurts, y'all. It hurts. This is going to be part one of three videos. This is the SLG. I will do the totes next, and then I will do my official handbag collection for the last part. So um, this is going to be the smallest collection out of, is it the smallest? Mm, the totes, and this is just about the same. But this is, this is going to be real quick, y'all. It's not that many. If you guys don't know what SLGs are, it's an abbreviation for small leather goods. There are people who have a lot of SLGs. I'm not one of them, okay? I do not like hoarding stuff. I like things in my collection, in my life, for a reason. Doing what it's intended to do, okay? So I only have four. I lied. I have five SLGs to show you guys. So if you are interested in seeing my mini SLG collection, go ahead and stay tuned. Some are not leather goods, okay? But I will consider it still as an SLG because it does what an SLG, SLG does, okay? Now that I'm looking at my collection, I only have two designers that are in my SLG collection. So let's go ahead and start off with the ones I use the least. I don't say I don't like them, but they're just not as functional in my life right now. But I need to put use to them, so I need to find ways to actually incorporate them in my life. So I do have two Fendi pouches. The first one is this um, Fendi pouch, and it is um, leather. I did get this off of Farfetch. This actually is one of my first designer, one of my first designer items that I purchased from Farfetch. And it is a very, very beautiful pouch. Like, this thing is gorgeous. Every time I see it, I look at it, I'm like, why do I not use you as much as I need to? Like, it's just a full on. Uh, cloth inside yeah it's cloth lined and it has gold hardware i love this pouch i love for the aesthetic of it it's very gorgeous i think i took a picture with it probably once and i didn't even post that picture up but other than that i cannot think of a time i actually took this out with me honestly i'm a clutch person when it comes to evening out but not a clutch like this like I like my clutches with more of a flat bottom. I'll show you in a little bit. Um, this pointy bottom, I don't really care for because I hate just laying it on the table or on the chair like that. Like, I love my bags, purses, clutches, whatever. I like them sitting up. You feel me? I need them to have, <laughs> to carry its own weight. I don't like anything just laying. That's just blah. So... I know that's a reason I don't gravitate towards it when it comes to me going out with it um so the only other thing i could think of doing with it is when i travel to have it probably as i don't know probably hold my swimwear or hold some type of clothing item i don't know i just need to find a way to use it i thought about maybe selling it but I really like it. Like, it's very beautiful. I don't think I want to sell it. Yeah, if you guys have any ideas for how I can use this, please let me know down below because just wearing it out and about is not it. Like, I mean, it's cute, but realistically, I don't think I'm going to be wearing it out and about. So any ideas, please let me know down below. Other than that, it's just going to be a travel clutch. I don't know. All right, so the next bag I have is from Fendi as well, and I don't use it. I'm definitely going to start using this as a travel clutch because the material is cloth. It has that embroidered um, effect to it. It's just a black Fendi pouch, and it has FFs all over it with gold hardware. I really, really love this clutch. Like, I think I took a picture in it a couple of times um i know i took it to paris probably just gonna be using this in my personal bag when i travel as well 
um, because this is more durable than the leather, the leather is going to be more prone to scratches and creases, whereas this is the cloth material, so I won't have to baby it as much. So I think that's what I'm going to be doing. Inside is cloth as well. So um, I was... Mm, I was thinking about maybe putting, I don't know. I don't want to put makeup. I don't want to put skincare in it because I don't want the inside to be staining. So that's why I'm probably just going to stick with something that is a cloth material to put in there. Underwear, probably. Cords, cable cords. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't want to sell this either. These are the two items that I have that are designer that literally just sits there and I don't like that. I got this from Farfetch as well. These are the two least worn items in my overall handbag collection, period. Designer anything that I own, period. These are the least worn, like, it's so sad, but that's that. All right, so the next three items are from Louis Vuitton, and I purchased them around about the same time. So these are my most used items. If you guys are following me on my vlogs, you guys have definitely seen these in my vlogs pop up a couple of times. Um, I want to go ahead and start with the first one, which is this Louis Vuitton key pouch. And honestly, mm, I did use it when I was in Atlanta because I did have way more keys than I do now. I only have one key here since I don't have a car. I don't have an office. I just have my house keys. I don't have a storage, none of that. So um, I do have one key in here. And now I use this as my wallet because I'm not carrying as many cards as I did in the US being that I only use travel cards here and a bank card from here. So this has definitely been getting some use. Yeah, if I need to go to the grocery store real quick, this is the only thing I'm carrying. I'm so glad I picked this up. Um, I picked it up back in Atlanta. Honestly, I was going between this one and the six key ring holder from LV because I did have a key ring holder that I purchased from Shein. And being that I had a lot of keys, I really, really did like it, but I'm glad I tried an inexpensive option first to see if it fit my lifestyle to see if i wanted to upgrade into the um, um designer one i don't normally carry cash but if i want to um, put some cash in there put some coins in there i'm able to do that as well so that's why it's just it's been very useful since i've been here all right so the last two items are the same thing just in different sizes so i do have the toiletry 15 and then i have the toiletry 25 this is all the original toiletry cosmetic pouches that lv had before they did that switcheroo on us and try to convert it into a bag y'all i am so glad i got this when i got it because that new one that they have they they playing i did carry this as a clutch a couple of times and it's very beneficial i really like it um i have not put a strap on it or anything i just like holding it on my hands y'all i love these two pouches and i'm glad i got them before it was converted into what it is now because y'all know i use this in all my personal bags when i am traveling these come in clutch i throw all my most used easy to reach um, important items in these clutches and put them in my um, personal bag when I am on the plane, when I'm traveling. Super, super easy, convenient, love it. I honestly wish YSL, y'all know I'm a YSL girl. I wish YSL had something like this in their collection and I would definitely get it. When I was at the store, I think I actually purchased them two different times. Um, I know I have a video of me unboxing this, so I will link it down below. I think I should have a video of me unboxing this as well. So just, just check down below for both of the unboxings. I was offered the other one as well, the 19, because there's three. Honestly, I wish I did get it, but at that time, me really dipping into designer, I was really thinking, okay, sh do I really need it? Like, 
And the sizing between the 19 and the 26, no, the sizing between the 15 and the 19 wasn't that much. So I was like, nah, let me just get the smallest one and let me get the biggest one. But I mean, I wish I did get the 19 because being that I use these so much when I travel, um, just regular day to day. I remember when I first came to Dubai, I was using it um, just handheld if I needed to go to the store to look around real quick, like I was using this a lot. So I wish I did get the 19, but it, it's, it's all good. It is what it is. I'm not about to go and search for the 19 like on this resale market. I'm not about to do it. It is not that serious. Um, another thing I did get offered while I was getting, I remember the 15 or no, I was getting the pouch, the key pouch was the mini pochette accessoire. I think that's what it's called, the mini one with the little chain, which is really, really cute. But honestly, I was thinking to myself, I don't need it. The lady offered it. She was like, we do have this if you want. I looked at it. I was like, nah. <laughs> I remember I said, no. <laughs> so I'm looking like, girl, I ain't buying that. Do I wish I purchased it at that time? Of course, yes. But honestly, at that time, I already had three monograms of SLGs that I've accumulated in a short period of time. I was not about to buy unnecessary stuff. And also another thing that kind of put me off was the fact that it was such a hype item to the point where I kind of didn't really want it because I didn't see a use for it in my collection. So, and I didn't want to just get it because it was a hype item. But now looking back, because I have a lot of mini bags, definitely would have been very, very beneficial in my life to have it as a, um, what's it called, a catch-all in my mini bags. But, I mean, this definitely is a catch-on. Another thing that I use on a regular um, in my YSL Sac de Jour Nano, in my LV Empreinte, uh On The Go PM, in my sacks like that that doesn't have a divide in the middle, I definitely put all my stuff in here and then put it in my in those bags because those bags doesn't even zip up. So being that this has a zip, it keeps it protected, it keeps everything in my purse safe, and it's just easier to take this out and transfer to another bag instead of just taking everything one by one to transfer to another bag. So I think that mini pochette accessory, I think it's like 700 now. <laughs> Maybe I'll get it. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. Another thing which is kind of making me not run out to go get it, even though it is available on the website, not only the price, but honestly, LV has terrible, terrible hardware. <laughs> the hardware is horrible. Like it's chipping, it is scratching, it's looking dingy on all of them. So honestly, I wish YSL had a mini pochette accessoire version on their website that I would definitely grab for it. That would be so cute. Imagine like a black leather mini pochette accessoire with the little YSL like in a corner. I don't want it on a big boom. I just want it like in a corner. You know, that slight flex I like. I think that would have been really, really cute. And the hardware for YSL is so much better than the hardware for LV. So I feel like that's one of the reasons that I have not really ran out to go get another SLG from Louis Vuitton because I don't want to be walking around with dingy hardware. I, I, think, I understand. I understand over time things are going to start to look dingy, but... Mm -mm, not for that money. Mm -mm. There are other brands out there that are producing way, way better material, way better hardware. So, so I would rather invest my money in those than to just keep on buying something that eventually I'm going to be disappointed at, you know? Oh, another thing I was talking about when it comes to the Fendi pouch, you see how this is so slim? I don't like that. I like the fact that this has this flat bottom. When I start stuffing my stuff in there, it literally sits on its own on the table. And I love that. I think that's another reason I'm not able to have the most usage out of this bag. Because 
it can't it can't do what this does you feel me if this had the flat bottom oh best believe y'all would see me taking pictures y'all would see me out and about with this everywhere but being that it's just so thin and so flat i'm like ugh, i can't do much with you even though it is gorgeous but these are the two i call them slgs because even though they're clutches i don't use them as clutches and even though one of them is not really a leather good this is considered my slgs i've been using all of these religiously on a regular like i love using all my stuff i really hate for any of my stuff to just be sitting around and not getting the usage of what i pay for i don't like that so i'm definitely going to start using the other clutches as travel clutches i ain't got no choice at this point um because i don't think i want to sell it i think i just want to use them find a way to use them <laughs> that's what i want to do i did forget to mention at the beginning of this video i did want to share a quick wish list of some slgs that i have my eye on honestly it's not that many i think it's probably only two or a couple of two or three so the first thing i have on my wish list for slg is the jimmy Choo vanity case in black to be honest i really really like how this jimmy Choo vanity case look like they have one in a brown color oh, i think those are the only two colors they have it just looks very sleek it kind of almost looked like they're trying to do a hybrid between between a vanity case and a purse handbag which i really don't care for that aesthetic i don't want it as a handbag i really just want it for my makeup um i haven't seen it in person but i really really want to see this in person and just maybe eventually get it i love the cjs on it i love the mix of the matte and the patent on it um i love the handle on it like everything about that case is just gorgeous and it's not price of all these other big brands have so definitely on my wish list for an slg so i could put it in so i could travel with so i think i i have my eye on the black version for sure and the last item is actually for makeup as well so if i don't get that one then i do want it this ysl clutch that just came out um i know it's a revamp of another clutch that they have out um i don't know i don't want it as a clutch i want it as a makeup bag so it kind of reminds me of the makeup bag i have currently if you have not seen my recent vlog then um yeah you don't know what i'm talking about but i do have a makeup bag that is the exact same shape but it's in pink and it's not a designer bag at all it's from target so i would want to use it as a makeup bag the only problem is i think the inside is cloth because it's an actual clutch so if i do get it as a makeup bag a travel makeup bag then i will have to put everything in a ziploc bag and then put it in the ysl bag so those are the only two things that i have on my wish list right now all right anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know if you like videos like this do not forget to follow me on instagram at importer underscore chocolates don't forget to like comment subscribe do all of that good stuff down below on this channel with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye